What is up, crypto hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack your cryptocurrency and blockchain education. If you guys are brand new here, we talk about everything NFTs, crypto, DeFi, and blockchain in general. And if you guys do like DeFi, definitely slap a like and be subscribed with notifications on, because in this episode, it's part of a series. I'm doing quite a few videos on DeFi, and I'm super bullish on everything lending and all the different protocols that exist out there in the DeFi space. If you guys are brand new here, I actually started a business many years ago that was a peer-to-peer -peer lending business in the finance space, traditional finance. And this is why I'm passionate about DeFi because I believe that it is going to be a monumental shift in how we lend and borrow money without an intermediary. This is smart contract based. So in this episode, I'm going to be going over DYP finance. This stands for DeFi yield protocol. Now this is a low cap gem, definitely worth checking out. I am super interested in all the different components that go into this really cool thing that I wanted to lead with here is that in this protocol, they have given out almost $36 million in a year of operation to the liquidity providers. Now I hear a regular comment in my comments and DMS about these high yields on the APY. Now, this is because they're trying to attract liquidity providers. When you're early in a project and you're going to provide liquidity with Ethereum or BNB or AVAX, you're going to be uh, risk. You're going to have risk. That's just how it works. So that reward is a high rate in providing liquidity. And a lot of people really just kind of look at that high rate and they're like, oh, no, this is not not for me. This is not something that I'm interested in. It seems like it's not sustainable, but ultimately they've attracted $10 million in liquidity from investors. So that has de-risked the investment on its own because of that high APY of over 490% on BSC, which is Binance Smart Chain. Really incredible numbers uh, to be able to incentivize all these people. The world's run on incentives, so they have to bring people in to provide liquidity. And once that liquidity is there, it's very powerful. And it is really cool to see them listed on central exchanges, centralized exchanges like Qcoin and Gate, and then de decentralized exchanges, obviously. Uniswap being the king, you have Pancake Swap on uh, BSC, and then you have Pangolin, and then you have DMM, Kyber, and a lot of other DEXs uh, that are in the works. They partnered with DEX. Uh, Kyber that is really cool and they're doing a $300,000 reward for liquidity providers there because if you think about it they have these three networks Avalanche, Ethereum, and Binance Smart Chain and they built the bridge across them but ultimately they need to attract liquidity providers for each one and that's their partnership with Kyber it's very exciting because you can go to all the different networks through Kyber which is very very smart but one of the other ones that they've done uh, that I'm really interested in is that they're working on Polygon. Now, if you're familiar with Polygon, you know that it is very cost effective compared to Ethereum right now with gas fees the way that they are. What's cool is seeing a product like this available on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, and Avalanche and soon to be Polygon. I've said this many times before, the future is interoperable, where it's all these different chains connected and people operating between them seamlessly. Now it's cool to see DYP pioneering that and really starting with that. And one of the things that I really liked about this was that they already have the 10 million in liquidity, which has de-risked a lot of that initial investment from investors. Because if you're new to DeFi, basically people provide liquidity for the transactions and the swaps to happen. So between BSC and the token, the DYP token, there needs to be some liquidity there to pay for the transaction to take place. And in order for it to go back and forth, you need there to be some liquidity in Ethereum, in AVAX, and the BNB tokens. So very cool to see them partnered with these exchanges and they're already uh, you know, working on their integrations with Chainlink that they have done. They have Avalanche, Pangolin, Coin98, and Kyber, large name partners, but ultimately the security audits was what really drew me into this. And I was really interested in Peck Shields uh, audits because they go through everything. They go through the yield, the farming, all the different components into the liquidity pools. They do everything. 
and they go into the GitHub and all that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go onto the site. I'm not going to look at the audits themselves, but I will show you where you can find them. And they went through a blockchain consolium as well as Certic. I've looked at Certic audits in the past uh, with DeFi projects I've talked about. And it's cool to see them doing this as well as big campaigns to get people to provide that liquidity. Because having passed out almost $36 million to liquidity providers, I think they're gonna continue to really crush it on that front because they know how important liquidity is for this. So they're doing this $300,000 reward for DYP and KNC, which is the token for Kyber. And it's really cool to see them trying to go with Avalanche and uh, you know do these farming pools across the board because the different networks play differently with the different communities. And it's cool to see them really trying to attract everybody uh, to provide the liquidity. One of the key features that I want you guys to watch when I'm going on to the site here in a minute is the anti-manipulation feature. Now, this could be a business on its own. It's incredible that they've done this and it's not being talked about all over the world because an anti-manipulation feature to prevent whales from manipulating the pool, for example, going in and just trading a bunch of tokens and trying to pull out that ETH that's in the liquidity pool, that feature is huge to curb the influence of whales is just something that everyone should be talking about. I know that the 490% APY is attractive and passing out almost $36 million in liquidity providers to liquidity providers is incredible and 23,000 users, but ultimately that feature is gonna be adopted by many, if not all DeFi projects because it's an innovation. And I think it's very exciting and let's dive right onto their site so you guys can get a chance to see this in person and what it looks like. So as you can see here, guys, we have the 8,878 ETH, the 7,600 BNB, the 12,500 AVAX. It's worth almost 36 million that's been paid out to liquidity providers. And this is the cool live uh, Oracle, the chain link is providing the pricing to, which is really cool to see that. Uh, I have not seen that integrated on a site before, so it's fun to see uh, that that's updating. And you can see here the 491% APY. Now there's a couple things that they have in the pipeline here that they're bringing to the platform. And NFTs was definitely one that brought my attention, but you can also see that they have, uh, you know, the ability for trading tools. Now I'm not much of a trader, but I do know that when you offer trading tools, in addition to yield, you're going to get some pretty insane levels of traders coming in. Because if you're able to have an interest bearing account or a yield account, you're able to deploy more capital, you're able to borrow against that capital, and you're able to make larger bets and trades. Now they have a decentralized score piece here. That's really interesting to me because I think there's a massive opportunity uh, for this in the DeFi space. Unique community trust voting system. So, you know, you can vote on people that are uh, bad actors. And I like the community policing concept of DeFi. DYP locker, the yield farm data and the launch pad. Now, I do really like the uh, the launch pad concept of allowing people to get access to uh, new products and new features that are coming out. And this is gonna give people a really great exposure to additional um, opportunities. So you can see here that they have the rewards in DYP and KNC here that they partnered with Kyber on, which is super cool, uh, 300 grand. It's going to go out to people just for uh, participating in the DEX uh, to boost the DYP protocol. Very cool to see that that's uh, being offered. Now, I think that with the different chains that they're operating on with Avalanche, uh, Binance Smart Chain, and Ethereum, this is very smart in order to bring liquidity because that's a lot of different networks that you're going to and a lot of different liquidity providers across the different networks. You're not just going after you know one individual one. Also, you can see here that they are going to be partnering with Polygon, which is super hot right now because gas fees are crazy uh, given the NFT uh, hype that's going on right now. And here's some raw numbers. 220 million in all-time high or all-time volume, 1,500 liquidity providers. That's crazy, guys. And you can see before that it was 10 million provided in liquidity, 36 million, I believe, up here in liquidity that's been paid out and you across 1500 people and here are all the different products rolling out here they have the 
AVAX farming, which is Avalanche. You have the buyback program, the DYP staking bridge between all uh, these different chains here, the governance tokens that are taking place, the tools like the trading tools, and this guy right here, the anti-manipulation piece that I was telling you guys about. That is such a big deal. And as someone who has been in the DeFi space, experimented around, that to me is something that should be extremely important for everybody watching this. If you've operated in the yield uh, farming space and DeFi, uh, this is like a, a monumental shift because it is protecting people. One of the coolest things about DeFi and DAOs in general is there's a lot of focus on governance and having governance tokens is really, really cool uh, because they can really incentivize the community to get, give some input. And it gives people a chance to have their voice heard and really just have more incentive to stick around and be part of the community. So as you can see, they're going to uh, really operate votes throughout the community and have people on here that are going to be talking about burning tokens, allocations towards grants of DYP for people to build different partnerships. And obviously you have to talk about burns um, as a big component here because there's there's various different things that will happen around um, you know, burning in order to create scarcity and in order to keep the ball rolling. And that's something for another video. Don't wanna to dive too much into that right now, but governance is very key to operating in DeFi. So it's cool to see across Ethereum, Binance, Smart Chain, and Avalanche. You can see their decks when they're working with Kyber across the different networks. You can see uh, that they're gonna be doing that $300,000 rewards uh, to get people to really provide liquidity. You have the buyback program that's really pretty interesting. Um, I'm not gonna dive too much into that right now, but very cool. And you guys are gonna have to do some research on that. The vault is where you're gonna be able to actually lock it up and earn some rewards for locking it up in the vault. You can farm, and this is where you get your crazy gains off BSC, 491%. Ethereum, you have 263%. In AVAX, you have 196%. And then, of course, you have your staking, uh, where you're able to uh, stake for 20% APR, APR through 35%, depending on the lock time. And this has a lot to do with the DeFi space in general. Longer you lock up, um, you know, the more incentivized you are. And the referral program and the bridge. So you can see there is a bridge of BSC and AVAX. I have heard a lot of compliments around Avalanche and their Binance Smart Chain bridges. Uh, I'm really impressed at the level of feedback that I've been getting around Avalanche and their ability for bridges. And I haven't heard the same about, uh, you know, Ethereum and some of these other ones, but really impressed by this, uh, the bridges to BSC and AVAX. Last, but most certainly not least, I have to go through the tokenomics as an econ nerd. I have to go through and show you guys some of these pieces here because the burned and removed from the total supply is a very key component here. And I'm fascinated by the ability to do this. And I think that it is so important to provide scarcity for your holders and really just burning these things like crazy. 4.3 million DYP removed and burned from the total supply. Right now there's a circulating supply of 14.6 million DYP and 30 million DYP have been minted at Genesis and will become accessible over the course of two years. And this is the way that it's going to be broken down over the course of two years. You can see it's distributed across the different networks to really get uh, people running, get people coming and providing liquidity. And then you can see over 24 months, the team will get vested this 2.4 million DYP. So really cool and well thought through tokenomics here. I'm impressed by this and I love how transparent this is. And this is something that I think the future is going to bring for all of us. We're able to see exactly what's going on and this should be really praised. This should be what we try to get companies to do. And as a, you know, someone who's majored in economics, I'm fascinated by the ability to burn and get that incentive going of these tokens. So you can see here 75% to the community, and then obviously you have 8% to the team and 16% to investors. So really cool that this is gonna uh, 
uh, progress over the course of 24 months. We're already 12 months in, and you can see that there's a lot locked up, 200,000 just locked into Uniswap for liquidity. And I'm really interested in learning more about the bridges as well as uh, the DEX program where they're offering 300,000 in rewards. And that is the dive onto their platform here. All of the smart contract audits are available under the security section here. I went through a couple of them and it's really interesting that these, these companies are doing this because they must be making a killing going around to different DeFi protocols and just doing these analysts because they go deep on their uh, GitHubs and all their repos and everything. They do a pretty incredible job on checking the bridges, the governance, uh, the locking, everything. Um, and you can see it here right on their website. And I love the transparency and congrats to these DeFi yield protocol uh, team members because they have crushed it with the transparency and everything out in the open, upfront, and being clear with what's going on. That's it for my overview of DYP Finance. Super bullish on this project. And as a full disclaimer, I reached out to DYP. I was really interested in doing this in the DeFi series, having them as a part of it. And I'm just so interested in the decentralized scoring, the unique community trust voting system that they have, all the different yield farming pieces of data, and ultimately all the different products are rolling out with the anti-manipulation piece. Also, the NFTs is a plus because I'm an NFT bull, as you guys know, and all the farming I'm new to, but I'm really excited to see this uh, innovation happening. So that is it for this overview. If you guys like DYP Finance, do your research with the links in the description below. Definitely worth checking out. And DYP is such a small cap gem at this stage that getting a bag, not financial advice, but getting a bag is uh, something that I'm going to be looking into. And I think that it's such a good idea with their buyback program and everything they're doing. So that is it. Slap a like if you like DeFi and I will see you on the next episode of Hack Crypto.